funny. I, it's, it's nice to meet you officially. Yeah, uh, same, same to you. You know, we haven't had a whole ton of products come, uh, come out new anymore or lately, so we haven't had a chance to send you much, but uh, good to see your sport in the hat today. Oh, yeah, for sure. Love it, love it. Um, so I'm going to ask you your first name because I've been sitting here thinking, is it uh, Olivier or is it like... It's, it's, well, it, I mean, I'm not really fussy. You can say uh, my real name is Olivier. Olivier, yeah. But a lot of people call me uh, Oliver. Oh, Oliver. See, that's what I was going to call yeah. you, too. So whatever, whatever. Either, either or. I'm not difficult. <laughs> you know? Right on. Right on. And so you're out of, um, where in New Brunswick yeah. are you out of? We're at Norton, Bathurst. In Bathurst, New Brunswick? Really? Yeah. Yeah. All this time. Really? My brother was going up there for a while uh, every other week. So that's. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. He used to live up there, you know, to every. Yeah, I guess every other week now he was living up there for a while a few years back. So. Oh, that's awesome. Here with the area. And yeah, he really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's a nice place. I mean, it's quiet. It's not a super big city, but yeah. it's, it's always fun. It's a, nice so. and quiet to be in a time like this in the world, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just got our first case uh, a few days ago. Oh, was that uh, right? Yeah, yeah. The whole. I, I mean, I, I think the Atlantic provinces are doing pretty good so far. Yeah, so, so far we can we can continue along with the social distancing thing and staying at home as much as we can. There you go. That's yeah. it. So listen, um, I wanted to. I'm gonna. I want to shed some light on what it is that you do for a living now, because cool. um, you know I've been I've been watching you now for a while, and and anyone who's gonna watch this is it, uh, hopefully they have seen you before, and if they have not, then we're gonna be able to fill them in on on what the good uh, good word is. Um, yeah. But you, I'm gonna uh, have a beer. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you drink beer for a living. This is perfect. For, I wish you had oh, one to join. For a living. Oh, I don't know if it's a living yet, but we're working on that. <laughs> Right on. So, so you know, Redheaded Beer Guy is a, a brand that you started uh, how many years ago now? Uh, it all started on Instagram, I'd say maybe three years ago. Okay. I'm thinking three years ago. Uh, I really boosted things uh, with the podcast in 2018. Okay. Uh, so late, late 2018. First or second? Second. Oh, so okay. It all started with Instagram, with documenting all the beers that I was trying out and uh, putting out some pictures and uh, descriptions of the beer and all that. And just, you know, it, it, it at first, it, it's always been about the passion of the beer, but at the same time, uh, um, I'm helping out businesses to just showcase their products. There's, there's so much good things that are being done locally. Um, you know, when I, when I speak locally, I mean locally wherever you're at, you know, whether you're in Toronto, whatever's being done in Toronto locally. You know, it's not a huge corporation that's getting it done. Right. Uh, you know, it's, that's why I like to support as much as I possibly can from, from anywhere in the country, really. That's, and awesome. that's 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 done locally okay and so uh you have a membership base or people that uh that are following you and and following what you're yep. drink, what you're drinking and not necessarily what you're drinking i guess but what you're what you're experiencing and the adventures that you're having within the beer uh, industry yeah for sure like uh, on instagram there is a I, I do have a pretty good following i, I think anyway uh, i'm up to a little bit past a thousand and awesome. um youtube is is a slow a slow uh, steep going up slow burn it's, yeah <laughs> yeah it's hard to get followers to transition to like all my videos were on facebook which i i, I gained uh, a pretty good audience through there yeah um and i'm trying to just transition that over to youtube uh you know can you can watch on your tv and all that so right. and i'm putting longer videos as well and um now as a membership um type of program i signed up with patreon to yes. try to generate a little bit of, little bit of income to help pay the stuff and you know, like I'm moving the studio out into the garage, so it's a brand new studio getting built. Wow, that's so, exciting! Yes, very much so. There you very go. Much so. So, where are you now? Are you in your uh, in a room in your house? Yes, the smallest room I have. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. at least you're in your own room. I'm in my uh, daughter's room right now doing. Videos, so. <laughs> it's well, it will become my daughter's playroom. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely hard to find a space, and I'm just right next door to uh, where she sleeps. So when right. she's taking naps, right now she's taking a nap, so I'm, I'm on thin ice. <laughs> yeah, you're on. <laughs> yeah, they need their sleep, that's for sure. So, oh, yeah. uh, so you know, as, as this thing started to grow in 2018 and, and uh, you get the podcast going and, and yeah. all this kind of thing, like, I mean, you, you obviously are a beer lover. Um, when it comes down to, uh, to I guess, featuring beers uh, on your programming on whatever platform that you share that on, I'll, I guess all of them now, um do you have uh do you have certain you know favorites out there that 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 you know styles of beer that that you're really oh, excited yeah. to try yeah for sure i definitely i'm, I'm a massive ipa fan and i and i think i, I might bring too many of those in the show you yeah know, I, I like to, to, to you know I, it's when you're you're presenting something you tend to present what you like right 
but right. you should present what your your viewers are going to enjoy is, as yeah. well. So you got to yeah. keep it as big of a variety as you possibly can. But yeah, definitely IPAs are really up there for me. Uh, I do love uh, a good saison, uh, blended beers as well, really high complexity. Yeah. Um, you know, you might not be reaching that broad of an audience when you're really going you know, deep into the complexity of beers with, with blended fermentation and stuff like that in a wild fermentation, but they're still, they're, they're absolutely great beers. And I, I do suggest them to every, for everybody to try because you're really hitting all kinds of notes, right? Like when you're getting into blended beers and, and wild fermentation, you're getting some, some Venice notes like from, from wine yeah. and you're, yeah. you're going to be attracting those wine drinkers to step on over to the beer world mm -hmm. because there's, it's, it's so, it, it's expanded so much. And there's right. so much out there that it's it's always been out there, but here in North America, it hasn't been explored as much. Right. And so then, when you go to to uh, like take us through the um the, the process and how you choose a beer to feature, because I mean, uh, over over the last several months, I've been watching and watching and watching, and I'm thinking to myself like, how does he find the beers that he wants to feature, and where is he finding them? That's <laughs> all so right right now. Yeah. Well, they're not that hard to find. Uh, you know, right now in New Brunswick. All alcohol is is sold through AMBL. Okay. And of course, at the breweries, they're they're selling products as well. So, and up here, I've got two breweries in Bathurst, so I do hit up their breweries as well. And I always try to shed some light on the local guys uh, that are in town here. Yeah. Um, but obviously, I do head on over to AMBL uh, as I'd say maybe three four times a week, um, just to see the new stuff that's coming in. Uh, you know, the new interesting stuff, and obviously keeping touch with everything that's going on on social media with all the breweries that are around because uh, there's always something new and if I can't get my hands on it either I'll drive down to the brewery and get it um, yeah. or I'll just reach out and say look can you ship up some stuff we'll, we'll figure something out and uh, you know I'd love to have them on the show and uh, there's always some people that are reaching out as well you know hey you want to try this out you know put it on the yeah. show and uh, so oh, that's always exciting that's it's like if I get some feedback from breweries that's like the, my highest point you know it's it's it's, it's the best it's what makes doing what you're doing uh, seem really valuable. I mean, and it really yeah. is. Right? I mean, it's there are people on there that are watching uh, that are watching your show and and uh, you know getting an idea what what beers are out there and what their uh, palates are and everything else. So I think yeah. it's great. And so how far away does uh, how far away do you go for your beer? Like, have you have you featured beers from Ontario or from? Oh, of course, yes, all yes, of place, course, right? yes. Uh, obviously, uh, there's always someone in my family that's traveling around around the, the country, so uh, they know to uh, if you're you're driving by a beer store, get some and send some up my way. Um, but yeah. I've, I've had some beer from the states on the show as well. Um, yeah. I do travel quite a bit. I mean, for the past maybe three years, I should say, all our family trips have been kind of centered around <laughs> craft breweries. I try to pass it on very subtly. Yeah, but, of course. Uh, yeah, anywhere I go, I, I just gotta make sure that to find someone local to go and see and um, yeah. get some local local beer, beers and bring them back. Uh, a lot of stuff from Quebec, because here in Bathurst, I'm not that far from the Quebec, Quebec border, yep. and there's a great store not that far up the road, maybe two hours away. And that store there gives me access to just about everything that's been brewed in Quebec. So oh, that's great. It's a, yeah, yeah, and it's a huge craft beer scene up there. And of course, Nova Scotia as well. There's, there's the crowd you're seeing up there is absolutely amazing. And I do have some contacts down there to, to send some up. And um, actually, just lately, uh, Roofhound has sent me up a, okay. a huge case of beer. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that's a, a great beer. I, I love his beer. So what are you? You're telling me that it takes you a full case to uh, to get around to doing the feature. <laughs> of course. <laughs> that's excellent. Well, listen, I'll tell you, uh, if if this ever lightens up in the world. Uh, I'll be heading down to my father-in-law's in Chattanooga, Tennessee. So next oh, wow. time I'm down there, I'll be thinking about you and for I'll sure be uh, bringing some stuff back for you to have a have a look through. So that's uh, awesome. That's not that's awesome at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so, it's always uh, good to try some some flavors from all over the all over the world. Yeah, and it's all different, right? I mean, it's it's yep. you know it, it's just the way it is, and so it's a really cool thing you get going on. I you know I think it's. Uh, as you said, you know, it's really hard to transition into YouTube, but, uh, you know, we're, we're trying yeah. to YouTube run ourselves, and, um, you know, you, you kind of think you expect a little bit more right out of the gate, but then again, you're oh, right, yeah. right out of the yeah. gate. So it's, it's a, yeah. you know, content is content. So the more you have out there, the, the, the more people are going to find it. And that's you know. it. You got to be consistent. And, you know, it, I, I've been kind of procrastinating with, with transitioning my videos to YouTube. 
I did it for a while, then I stopped for a little bit. And I did yeah. it for a little while again, and then I stopped. And now I think I need to really step up my game and really put it out there yeah. and uh, just keep on pushing, 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 pushing. Eventually, we'll catch on. You know, That's right. Uh, up to 50 subscribers, so it's there you not go. the millions – not in the millions yet, but who knows? <laughs> That's right. Um, so, uh, so you have red hair, uh, which is kind of yeah. how we sort of connected, I guess. Oh yeah. Um, and I guess I think we connected on Instagram as well. I think, if I'm not mistaken, way back uh, several yeah. months ago in last year. Um, so take us through uh, take us through that journey on on how it, how things were for you. Uh, you know, growing up, were you did you were you born and raised in Bathurst? Yes. Okay. So born and raised. Actually, yeah, yeah, just uh, about a kilometer down the road from where I live right now. Oh, nice. So, so yeah. yeah. How was it for you? You know, I, I hear all these, these these weird stories, you know, like it, you, you can't help but hear uh, bullying stories because there are out there, right? Uh, yeah. But I, I've i never experienced anything of that of that kind. I've always been proud to be a uh, ginger uh, yeah. myself. My dad's a, a red-headed redheaded guy as well with no hair just like me <laughs> sadly I lost my hair but uh no and my family especially on my dad's side uh there's there's the the, the redheaded it's it's really really popular um uh, you know it, it's really strong and it's, it's a gene that really pulls through uh every time uh my little nephew him he, he came out uh, such a bright 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 redhead but yeah. uh no it, it's been it kind of, you know, I, I identify with it. It, it. it makes me stand out. I, I love to stand out. And it, it, I don't know, me, it's just been uh, something to be proud of, I guess. Yeah, it makes sense. That's why you're in the chair that you're in, uh, in front of the mic yeah. and doing That's a podcast it. and everything else. You're, you're and I, 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 I wrap the whole thing around the fact that I'm a redhead. So Yeah, it's, man. Uh, and, you know, and I think that's, uh, you know, the conversations that I'm having, there's, there's inspiration in that. And, you know, um, you know, we exist as a company and I, and I know I go on this rant a lot on these videos, but um, we exist as a company to, uh, you know, to expose the rarity and the, and the uniqueness yeah. of uh, being a redhead and, and to spread this message uh, of be authentic, be ginger, be proud. And, you know, it's, it's, it's always funner uh, and much more uh, interesting to talk to somebody who hasn't had any issues because at the end of the day, you know, it's, you know, we, we don't want to be looked at as the company that brings up negativity in, uh, in the red no, no. Um, we yeah. know it exists, but, but it's nice to, it, it's nice to have the variety and, and we know that there's people out there that have not had issues and, 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 you know, just enjoy being a redhead all the way through because of that. And at the end of the day, you know, I think it's just, it's one of these, one of these things where it just kind of, it, it brightens the, uh, it brightens the mood for, for those who may be watching that uh, that might be having some issues right now. So to draw yeah, inspiration for, sure, for sure. someone like yourself who's out there, who's, you know, standing proud, who's, who's doing what you're doing, Absolutely. Who's just doing the things that, uh, that you've always wanted to do, or, or maybe not. I mean, this is probably something that you've thought about for a while before you get into it, but um, yeah. it, it, it just helps everybody else kind of, uh, you know, see that there is, uh, there's tons of possibilities. And that's the premise behind these videos. And I hope to have thousands of these videos all oh, curated nice. and on YouTube so that, you know, not, a, not just redheads have to come and watch this, not just the redhead culture. No. It's, it's really for everybody uh, and to draw from. And so, uh, you know, so it's, it's, it's folks like yourselves who agree to, to getting on a Zoom call in these wonderful, weird times that we're having. I know. Um, and I, and again, I don't know why we never did this before. And it's so, bringing people together, you know, <laughs> as weird as it is, as we shouldn't be together, uh, you know, people are really getting together. Uh, people are connecting a lot more yeah, uh, it's, through these apps. It, it's, it's crazy. Unreal. Yeah. And so how are you, uh, how are you guys uh, connecting now? Like, how, are you still rolling with the shows? Are you, uh, are you on a bit of a hiatus? What are you, what is your plan? Oh, I'm still putting out content. Like there's no tomorrow. Uh, I've yeah. got stuff lined up for the next three weeks. Um, obviously, because I've been at home since March 15th. Yeah. Um, and I've received a, a boatload of porch bombs uh, of beer. I've been uh, getting a lot of support from the brewery, so they, they've sent up a bunch of beer, and so awesome. I've been doing reviews uh, kind of nonstop. That's great. And uh, is this what you do full time, uh, Oliver? No, or? no, no, absolutely not. Uh, actually, for the past 12 years, uh, up to six weeks ago, I was working for my dad yeah. um, for the family business, and I left the company uh, oh. at the end of January. Yep. Uh, to move on to to other things, and uh, I started working for uh, Old Bootlegger, um, yeah. the craft craft beer bar here in town. And yeah. the, the owner owns 
that bar, uh, a pita pit, and a specialty coffee shop as well. So it's kind of all centered around uh, our downtown area right here. And uh, he hired me on as a uh, business development manager and a social media content creator. Awesome. Um, so with this pandemic happening right now, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting at home, obviously, yeah. as the bar is closed, coffee shop's closed. Yep. So uh, <laughs> the pita pit is the only thing hanging on. Hanging on as yeah, we're that's right. Now. That's right. Yeah. Which Hence why you're going to be moving your studio into the garage. So uh, days yeah. like this, you can just uh, content all day long. Pretty well, yeah. As long as I can get away from from the house and everything's already here, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm definitely learning all kinds of things about myself uh, being here with uh, my my 14 month old. I bet, I bet. <laughs> yeah. And so, um, when you do your shows, are you do you do them mostly in the nighttime, or do you uh, scatter the the uh, the recordings? It, yeah, it's pretty scattered, but usually mostly after uh, CC went to bed. Yeah, um, yeah. It'll be around eight eight thirty. Uh, I try to do them when everything's done and I could just sit here for a little while. Yeah. But, uh, well, lately during the pandemic, I've been doing them sometimes at nine o'clock in the morning when she's napping, but right. just everyone out right there and she's good to go. I hear you. And how long yeah. is, uh, how long is each, uh, each episode that you're doing? What's, what's usually the time frame? Um, uh, I used to keep them, try to keep them below 10 minutes, yeah. uh, being on Facebook. Uh, it's hard to grasp the attention of, of a viewer for that long, especially on Facebook, because you do have to have your phone on you all the time. Uh, right. But now that I'm putting them on YouTube and you can watch them on your TV, uh, it can go anywhere from 18 minutes to 25 minutes. Yeah. And I just had a, um, my last Zoom uh, podcast I had with uh, Jillian Nadeau from Uncork Tours. Uh, we chatted for an hour and five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting how that works, eh? Some, some, some are long, some are short, and, you know, it's just, uh, you just, time goes by. Over. Yeah. yeah, that's it. I'd love that's to get on the podcast. I'm not sure what I would talk about, but I would certainly love to get on there and maybe I'll taste some beers with you. We'll have a taste off or something. <laughs> it's fun. I, I tried doing uh, an audio only version. Um, for some, I, I failed like incredibly with it because talking to a microphone and not having a camera in front of me right. and not being able to show what I'm doing in that uh, was very, very difficult to talk and just, okay, I gotta, I gotta find something to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's so really difficult. Yeah. But the, I'm way more um, agile with the camera in front of me to be able to talk to the camera and show what I'm doing and, and yeah. just get the flow going. That's right. And, and that's, and I guess that's the important thing too with, so if your, your podcast is video as well. So it's a video, it's a video. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of a vlog. Uh, yeah. I, I would, I should say. Yeah. 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 But uh, yeah, I, I try the audio only, but it's, it's really hard, you know, especially when you're, you're trying out some beer, uh, get that awkward silence when I'm taking a drink from the beer. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the first on the first episode I made, I cut them all out, so it just seemed like I was just ghost drinking a beer. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. But uh, anyway, Fantastic. I, I I do some audio only ones if I'm with somebody else, and then you can just everybody chips into the conversation. Yeah, yeah. And uh, when you uh, when you're looking for guests on the podcast, who you, what kind of guests are you looking for? I've been really slacking on bringing guests in. Oh, now really, we're gonna really make slack. accountable. Yeah, I have to bring in some more guests. Um, for some reason, I, I, I scramble to get the podcast done, especially in the studio uh, with a young one trying to get some sleep. And just if I, can, if I need to schedule somebody else in with that, it, it gets very difficult. And the podcast really took off for me when she was born. Right. Okay. So just, it just took off. And from then, from there on out, like you, you have kids too, the schedule is very, very hard to, uh, to maintain. Yeah, it is. And, um, it is. Do you hopefully with the studio outside of the house, I'll be able to bring somebody else in and definitely like after seven or eight, it's easy to bring somebody else in and just hammer out a couple of podcasts. Right. So for the podcast, you, you, you would have your invitees, uh, in, in person with you, not, not necessarily on a zoom, right? No, I I'd much rather have them in person, especially yeah. after this, this, this pandemic is over. Uh, I, I've had a few people, uh, in before I've had, uh, well, my boss, before he was my boss, I had him in. Yeah. Um, we've got a stand-up comedian, local stand-up comedian here. He, he wasn't as well. And, um, I try, I try to bring in some people that, that are fans of beer. Uh, but definitely in the future, uh, I'd much rather bring in some people that don't necessarily drink beer and try to get them in to find out what, what they would like as a craft beer. Cause it's, it's hard to approach the whole industry cause there's so much out there to try. It, it's, it's yeah. overwhelming. Yeah, you're right. It is. And, you know, when you go in the liquor store now, uh, any liquor store for that matter, you, you know, you look at the wall of craft beer and, and uh, yeah. what, you know, basically I choose from the label. <laughs> if the label looks kind of cool, I, I, I'm going to pick it up at least. 
I, I, I do that very often. Yeah, you know, like oh, yeah. it doesn't really matter, you know, if if I if I'm into uh, a logger or if I'm into a pilsner or whatever, uh, you know, a, a hoppy or a session or something like that. You, the label gets me, and then if the label if the label gets me, and I look and I look at it and I look deeper, and it, I see that's going to be hoppy beer, I'm going to put it back. But uh, you know, yeah. I, I like your lawn chair. I'm 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 a lawn chair beer guy, so I okay. like light and crispy. <laughs> there we go. See, like those, those beers there, they're they're absolutely amazing. I actually had one just not that long ago. Oh yeah, uh, just a, a regular nice style pilsner. Uh, one of my favorites is an import is uh, the pilsner Raquel. It's just a, a great easy drinking pilsner. Uh, it's, it's a beer's beer. It's just yeah. what it is. Yeah. 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 Definitely is, awesome beer. Is that an amber, like is it an amber color or is it more like a, you know, a, no, it's a nice light color. Spider color. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nice blue color. Nice yeah. crisp beer, uh, for a sunny day. Definitely not like today. Uh, yeah. today we're, we're getting hammered with the snow up here. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. It snowed a bit here, uh, last night, but the wind is really picked up. So Okay. I look up in the sky there. <laughs> yeah, you guys are lucky. We got we got about a foot down so far, and, and it's it's going up. Oh, geez. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. It, it, winter never ends in Bathurst. No, 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 no. This will be <laughs> a, a long, long spring. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, um, yeah. So, okay. So here's here's what I'm asking. What I'm chasing now is, uh, you know, if you're, um, and I I try to ask everybody this near the end of a conversation is. If you're uh, if you're going to go out there and 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 tell people uh, whether they have red hair or not, you know, uh, you know, anything inspirational on uh, on how to move forward with with their lives or one way or the other, um, in a positive way. What's your uh, what's your message? What's what's always been your message? Uh, it's, it's, it's very close to yours. It's to be proud and don't be afraid to stand out. Uh, you know, make your mark. You know, take your place and, and be who you are. And uh, you were born like that. Embrace it. It it looks great on you. Yeah, I really liked what you said. You know, stand out. You know, I think you yeah. said that earlier, and, and you like to stand out. I I think that's a really key nugget here. Is uh, is is to to actually embrace that uh, yeah. piece and go. I I want to stand out. I am. The, I'm the guy that's going to stand out. And that's and again, I, I compliment you on uh, on what it is that you're doing uh, in Bathurst for Thank the rest you. of the world. Um, cause it really doesn't matter where you live. You're going to be, uh, broadcasting to everybody. So, you know, it, uh, yeah. it's pretty awesome. I, I really enjoy what you do and, and just to Thank let you. you know, because, you know, just to let anybody who's watching know, uh, Oliver and I did start a partnership a while back. Yeah. Uh, and so he, uh, Oliver featured us in one of his episodes and, uh, we're going to do some more contesting and stuff, uh, as the, uh, as the years go on. Uh, but one thing too, Oliver, I was going to say before I let you go is, we do have several new designs in the works right now. So once I've seen your, your latest one that came out was uh, the Be Proud, uh, yeah. Be Proud logo. That that there was really nice, awesome, yeah, yeah. awesome design. So I'm yeah. gonna uh, we're gonna have to get you some of that stuff, and uh, we'll just keep on adding to your collection as we get it. Cool, cool, awesome. Definitely well, uh, happy to be part of this partnership. It's fun. Yeah, this is great, I, and I'm enjoying it as well. And uh, Again, uh, you know, take care of yourself, be safe, and uh, enjoy the rest of the weekend to the best you can with your Thanks, family. Thanks, thank you. We'll be talking to you really soon, I can guarantee you that. For sure. All right, buddy, take care. All Great right. To talk to you Thanks. finally. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All Cheers. Right. Cheers, man.